In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to speed up your WordPress site for as little as $5 a month by using Cloudflare's automatic platform optimization plugin for WordPress. First, I want to test the current speed of my site before I get Cloudflare's APO up and running. According to GT Metrics, I'm getting a solid F with a 30% performance rating. But keep watching to see how Cloudflare APO improves my site's performance by 163%. So now that we have a baseline, let's see how Cloudflare's APO plugin can speed things up. To get started, go to cloudflare.com. If you already have a Cloudflare account, sign in and skip ahead to one minute and 40 seconds. If you don't have an account, click sign up and create an account by entering your email address and choosing a password. Then enter just the domain of your WordPress site. For example, you would enter cloudflare.com without the HTTPS or www. If you sign up for the free plan, you'll get free DDoS mitigation, CDN, DNS, and universal SSL certificates. The APO plugin is a $5 add-on to the free plan, and I'll demonstrate how to set this up a little later in this video. If you sign up for our pro plan, you'll get everything from the free plan, in addition to our web application firewall, lossless image optimization, mobile optimization, cache analytics, and more. This plan also includes the APO plugin. I'm going to stick with the free plan and click Continue. The next step is to confirm your DNS records. While logged into your current DNS provider, double check that all the records made it over and into Cloudflare. If any are missing, go ahead and add them and click Continue again. Now comes the Changing Name Servers step. It may sound intimidating, but it's actually quite simple. Cloudflare has done a good job of explaining exactly how to do it on the page linked in the video description. First, use Whois to determine your domain registrar, such as GoDaddy or Namecheap. Then log in to the administrator account for your domain registrar and navigate to the DNS management page. Here you'll need to remove these two name servers and replace them with these two from Cloudflare. You'll probably have to confirm that you really want to do this. Registrars sometimes take up to 24 hours to process name server updates, and you'll get an email from us when the change is made, which means that your site is now active on Cloudflare. After you get that email, return to your Cloudflare account and click Done, Check Name Servers. You can go ahead and skip the Quick Start Guide by clicking Finish Later. Back at the top of the dashboard, click the Speed icon then open the Optimization tab. Scroll down until you hit Automatic Platform Optimization for WordPress. If you signed up for the free plan, this is where you can purchase the plugin for $5 a month. If you have a paid plan, there will be a switch here to turn on, but don't turn it on yet. Leave this page open since you'll be coming right back. Once the plugin payment is taken care of, it's time to get the APO plugin up and running on your WordPress site. Log into your WordPress site, go to Plugins, and click Add New. Do a search for Cloudflare, click Install Now, then once it's installed, activate it. You should now see Cloudflare in your plugins list. If you have any other performance or caching plugins, such as WP Rocket, W3 Total Cache, or something similar, we recommend turning them off when first setting up Cloudflare APO. After you confirm that APO is working, we recommend testing whether or not turning your other plugins back on improves results or causes unexpected behavior. In many cases, having both APO and other caching plugins on can cause unexpected results. To create an API token, open Cloudflare Settings and sign in with the email used for your Cloudflare account. To get the API token, go back to your Cloudflare account and open your profile. Open the API Tokens tab and click Create Token. Find WordPress in the table and click Use Template. Scroll down and click Continue to Summary, then click Create Token. This generates the token that you'll need to copy, then return to WordPress, where the Cloudflare settings should still be open, and paste in the token. It's also not a bad idea to paste this token in one of your own documents, just in case you may need to recreate this step later. Click Save. 
In the next window, for Apply Recommended Cloudflare Settings for WordPress, click Apply. Then flip the switch to turn APO on, click Purge Cache, then Purge Everything. Now you're ready to go. For an easy way to verify that Cloudflare APO is working, go to uptrends.com where you can verify that APO response headers are present. Enter the entire URL of your WordPress homepage, including the www or http, and click Start Test. Once finished, scroll down and look for these three rows in the Response Headers table. CF Cache Status Hit, CF APO via Cache, CF Edge Cache, Cache Platform equals WordPress. Remember that before installing Cloudflare, my site had an F rating with 30% performance on GT metrics. I'll retest, and I've now gone up to a B with 79% performance, an improvement of 163%. Your results may vary. It depends on how your site is set up. At the 90th percentile of sites we've tested, performance improvements average 72%. Thanks for watching our Cloudflare demo. If you have any questions, please reference our FAQ listed below.